So this is the Lunt Modular 80 telescope. And this is how I set it up. You have to excuse the wind. Um, typically you would want to put your guide scope on the top up here, but that would um, make changing between solar and, and nighttime use a little bit more cumbersome. Um, I elected to keep my solar finder in position as it is also for a handle here. So that being said, I needed another option for the guide scope, which I used these Prima Luce DX finder bases. And um, the pre-existing bolts that come with the focuser for the rack and pinion model uh, work perfectly. And this curvature fits the curvature of the stock focuser. So ideally, put one on each side, uh, the ZWO mini guide scope over here and the uh, ASIR plus, which I could mount that somewhere else, but it works here. I put it vertically because it won't lay flat with these two bolts that are too long. I could get shorter ones and, and lay it down, but it really doesn't matter. So that's the basic layout. I do have the 0.8 reducer and 55 millimeters of back focus. I don't intend on using this for broadband, so my filter setup is just a luminance S2H03, and I have the solar continuum filter there also. That way, if I use it for white light, I can, I'll have that available. I, I do like the Bader solar continuum filter. So I installed the ZWO EAF, and an issue arises when you do that, unless you were to change the orientation of the focuser itself. Um, the bracket would crash into the base unless I put risers underneath. Um, well, actually these are spacers. I had risers and they were um, a little chintzy. I believe I was getting a little bit of flexure out of them. So I went with these spacers instead. And they're a little over half an inch thick. But as you can see, it keeps the bracket right here off of the Lost Mandy plate that I installed. And that's another thing. This is, uh, I believe I got this one from Farpoint, but it's it's the 14 inch Lost Mandy style plate. So that's the basic idea. Um, I, I, an issue is here, uh, where you disconnect the module and replace it with the HA module. Um, these two will be fine as thumb screws, but I run into the issue with this guy right here. Um, so I'm gonna have to do that with an Allen key to get this whole thing off. So basically my idea is this, I disconnect all of my leads coming into the ASIR plus from up here, pull the module off, reinsert the um, the solar HA module and I'm ready to go. Um, then just a few plug and play items and I'm set up for nighttime, but that's essentially how I have mine. Um, and it's depending on the filter, I'm somewhere around uh, 45 mark to 55 mark. With narrow band, it seems to be in that range um, on the focus. And this balances with the ZWO EAF um, just before making contact here, which as you can see, if I was any further forward, I would have an issue there. Um, this is with the dew shield fully extended, all the wiring attached and everything. And my guiding's been pretty good. It's been around 0.43 for this area that's really good um and that's it that's that's how i set it up so i'm going to have to shop around for a little bit smaller knob that goes here that i can kind of fidget with that's just not a whole lot of space there and then 
the next question I have, because the module um, I bought separate and it's on its way, is will I have enough clearance here to this plate? So I may have to redo this whole thing. I just wanted to show you how I have it set up. So um, there's your index markers if you want to try something similar to this. But absolutely love the scope for narrow band. It's fantastic for, for um, I believe plate solve told me 448 millimeters was was what plate solve gave me. Um, so pretty good focal length for a lot of wide field stuff. And uh, if I can get it where I can swap it out real quick and have an imaging train already set up on the solar end of it, that would be fantastic. And this is my idea so far. It, it may change. So I hope this helps anybody that's interested in, in uh, taking hardware to this guy because um, it's, uh, it's a really cool idea that, that Lunt has and I'm just trying to make it work really efficiently for imaging and, and um, just hope I don't run into issues with the uh, HA module being too big this way. But I can get around that little guy there. That's no big deal. Leave the two original thumb screws here and then come up with something different down here. But yeah, overall, uh, this works really well. So thanks for watching. Clear skies.